We're back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by our viewers. Starting with a collectible sent in by Mona. So tell us about these little houses, Dr. Lori. These little houses are a souvenir from Holland. Um, they're called Delft Blue. Delft is a place that's very well known, um, a Dutch city, very well known for the blue and white porcelain manufacturing. And that's what these are. And the houses actually look a lot like uh, parts of, of, of course, uh, the Netherlands, uh, this particular case. They're little houses kind of like the ones that you would see if you were in Amsterdam. Last time I was in Amsterdam, these stepped houses were sort of everywhere, that stepped roof line. Really cute. Yeah, so they these are were sent cute. in. What do you think? They're Wait, about this big. Where did kind you say small. they were from again? They're from Delft, which is a city oh. in the Netherlands. In oh, okay, because I lived over there for a period of time, so I remember wow. seeing these kinds of figurines quite a bit. Wow. So I'm, I'm very so intrigued by this. So you saw them often. They I were, saw a good I mean, amount of them. They were sold a lot of like different shops and mm -hmm. stores and just basically That's on the streets right. and stuff. And when I and I mean That's here right. in the U.S., I see like that mm -hmm. blue and white ceramic. Yeah. I see that a lot. That blue. So That's right. That's oh. interesting, Lindsay, that you lived there. What's that? Very interesting. That's interesting that you lived there. Yeah, I was there, well, I was there in college. I did a, a travel abroad. I lived in Nijmegen. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. That's more of southern of Amsterdam. Not that we need to get specific here, but OK. <laughs> okay so correct. let me get the but price. Souvenirs, souvenirs are an interesting collectible category. Lots of people want to know what to actually buy when you're on vacation. And we're all going on vacation, you know? I yeah, think so. Right. That is an excellent Thank gift you. What do you Holland. think, $25? $25. I said 65 they're worth about $50 each, so oh. 65 is closer. Oh, I'll take it. Okay. Good job. Yay. All right, so up next, we have a piece of furniture from Cindy. Yeah, this is a nice piece. This is a dry sink, so you would put a wash basin and a pitcher on top of this, and then you would use it to wash your face before you have indoor plumbing. You'll notice it is stripped oak, so it's oak, early 20th century. It's stripped, and it's got all new hardware, too, so they just brought it down to the original wood. Yeah, I, th I think this would be worth a little bit more now. I think Because so I know, like, wood is scarce these days. Like, well, building materials. For sure, these well, right. days. Building materials is expensive. That's true. Yeah. yeah, and you said that this was a nice piece. You complimented it right off the bat. So that tells <laughs> me that you must think it's pretty good. So. <laughs> but I, I noticed on top there, is that some wear and tear? Is that some staining? Is that from the basin, you said? Like... Yeah, the wash basin would be up there. So that would be like a, a ceramic bowl with a big ceramic pitcher. You've seen those. Before you had, of course, indoor plumbing, that's how you would wash your face in the morning. You'd oh. stand at one of these called a dry sink because the sink wasn't there. It was dry. And basically, you'd have the wash basin. But that's now gone. That's from the early 1900s. Now they just use it sort of for oh, a little server. You put something on it, kind of like a baker's rack. Maybe you put your your hot pies to cool oh. on it, that kind of thing. I've been thinking about pie a lot lately. <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> with you, Dr. Lori. $175. I went with $225. Two fifty is what it's worth oh, in that condition. Lindsay, she's she, she's gonna I'm, beat me here. I'm coming back. All right, so finally <laughs> we have a tiebreaker. <laughs> we have some artwork, um, and this is from Scott. This is a very nice piece as well. A little deceiving. This is a hand colored chromo lithograph print by an artist named Frederick Morgan who's active in the late 1800s in a period frame. That means the frame is from the late 1800s as well. And it's folks outside, of course, enjoying sort of a fete galant or an outdoor party. Now, you mentioned, mentioned this artist, Frederick Morgan. Was he a popular yeah. guy? Are we talking like Picasso here? <laughs> in, his time, in his time period, popular in uh, the east coast of the United States, sort of up until the Mississippi. Yeah, popular on mm. our okay. side of the world. Yes. Can I find any artwork in, in like a museum of his anywhere? Yes. yes, yes, you can. Good question. Good question. I was going to say I'm like the least knowledgeable about art, but I'll give it a shot. All right, here we go. Um, oh, no, I'm changing. Last minute. You know, I'm five hundred dollars. I'll say two seventy-five. Three twenty-five. Lindsay wins. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so proud of you. Like totally made my day, Dr. Lori. Thank you so much. Perfect. Well, beginner's luck a little bit, but you both did great. It was very close, neck and neck.
Have yes. a good July 4th, everybody. Enjoy Independence Day. Thanks, Thank Dr. you so much. so much. So much fun. And yeah. I was going to say, we had everything but the kitchen sink <laughs> cover there because we had a dry sink, right? But yeah. uh, we really did cover so much. And we want to thank all of you for sending us your photos. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.